Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to uh, the turf fields at Hopkinton High School for our Hopkinton Hillers freshman football as today they take on the Holliston Panthers. Tom Nappy on the call, John Ritz on camera. Terosian on the crew as well. And it is a fantastic day for some March football. Certainly a different look. Is the 2020 2021 high school football play tomorrow in Holliston? A morning battle. I believe the 10 a.m. City football will have all the home games for you right here on HCAM. Airing on the HCAM Ed channel as well as our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAM TV. And it is certainly exciting to be out here today to watch some March football. And both of these teams, they have a lot of good up and coming talent. It'll be nice to get a look at the future of Hopkinton and Holliston. Of course, both programs have done very well the last few years and have made some great playoff runs. And we'll also have Eve Weatherhead on our crew as well, helping out on camera. Holliston is in their away white jerseys with red numbering. The Hillers in their home greens with white numbering. And it looks like Holliston is going to start working right to left. And there will be no kickoffs in this game. So they are just going to start right at the 25 yard or 30 yard line so no kickoffs and we are ready to go Halston starts off with the ball working right to left taking the snap was Landon Beecher the quarterback and he'll throw to his right it is hauled in and taken by Blake Harper to about the 47 yard line so a nice completion to start things off and Panthers about a 17 yard gain there And the scoreboard is off, so we will do our best to keep you up to date with how much time is left, but it will certainly be a pretty tall task. As Holliston is going to line it up out of the pistol, Landon Beecher takes the snap. He'll hand it off, run up the middle. The Hiller is ready for it that time. A good stop by Russell Perryman. On the run, that was Kevin Sahagian. And he got back to about the line of scrimmage, so no gain there. That'll bring up second and about 10 to go. As Beecher out of the gun takes a high snap, he'll hand it off once again, and another good stop by the Hillers. Getting in there for the tackle, Benjamin Joyce. He went to the run again to Sahagian, and maybe a yard that time. That'll bring up third and about nine to go. Halston lines it right back up, working with a quick pace offense here. Beecher out of the gun, takes the snap, fakes the handoff, play action, rolls to his left, and it's incomplete. Dropped by his intended target, Christopher Pacheco. So that'll bring up fourth down for Holliston. We'll see if they're going to stay out there. They're at about midfield. And Beecher's going to just over the head of his intended target, Christopher Pacheco, and that'll be a turnover on downs. So the Hillers offense will come out to the field. We'll get a look at the Hillers freshman offense for the first time this season. The head coach for Hopkinton is Will Collins for Holliston, Nick Stevens. And a pretty good attendance on hand. Each home player allowed to invite two people to attend the game. 
But don't worry, if you don't get one of those invitations, you could watch all the home games right here on HCAM. Miller's offense is going to line it up out of the gun. It looks like at quarterback, we're going to have Charlie Petruni. He'll line it up out of the gun, back to his right. He'll hand it off. And correction, that was Sam Pantera, the quarterback. That's a familiar name. And there's a fumble on the play. It looks like the Hillers are going to maintain. They will indeed maintain and get a gain of a few. Ball is marked at about the 41. It's a seven-yard gain. Sam Pantera, the quarterback, a great basketball player. We got a good look at him on the JV team throughout this season, and we saw him back in his middle school days playing some football. Declan DeRocher is lined up as the back to Pantera's left. It is a four-receiver set, two spread out to either side. And it's going to be play action here. Pantera is going to take this himself. And this game, uh, two freshman teams meeting up. And obviously this season, it's all about getting the experience. And it ain't about who wins. It's... Just about uh, learning the wonderful game of football. So both of these teams are certainly going to be trying hard as Pantera lines it up out of the gun with a back to his left. He'll hand it off. Here comes DeRocher as he cuts along the near side on a sweep. And he's brought down at around the 30. And that is a pickup of about three. I'll bring up second down. And seven to go. As Pantera huddles them up, and the huddle's pretty similar look, and they have to stay a little more spread out. Not a whole lot of rule changes, fortunately, with football again. And this time, DeRocher will march just past the 30 to about the 29. So pick up of a couple there. And we'll bring up third. And about five to go. We're in the first quarter here. Not quite sure about the how much time is left, but we're doing our best to keep track. We'd imagine we're about four to five minutes into this game so far, as Halson had a pretty good drive where they ended up converting once. Pantera going to line it up out of the gun with a back to his right. Two receivers spread out to either side, takes the snap. And he is going to take this himself up the middle. Holliston is ready for him. And he's brought down just short of the 25 at about the 27. A handful of Panthers in there on the tackle. That's a pickup of uh, another three yards for the Hillers. So that brings up fourth. And three to go for Hopkinton, who is driving in Holliston territory. They're at the 27-yard line. So fourth and three from the 27. Is Pantera going to line it up out of the gun once again? Back to his right. I believe that is Sean McCann. Two receivers spread out to either side. He'll take the snap, throws to his right, and it's batted down. A good defensive play. Jumping up, batting down that pass was Christopher Pacheco, who's a freshman for Holliston. And that'll be a turnover on downs. So the Holliston Panthers get the job done, and they'll get the ball back. And they'll start off this drive from the 26-yard line. Working right to left across your screen. Yeah, just watch the iris too, because that's sun. Out of the gun, it is Landon Beecher. Takes the snap, hands it off, run up the middle. They got a good run this time. Cutting to the far side is going to be Devin Harding. 
And he's brought down along the sideline just past the 40. A good pick up there for the Holliston Panthers. We'll see where they mark him. Looks like they're going to mark him right at the 40. So a pickup of 14 yards. And that'll move the chains for a Holliston Panthers first down. Back to the line they go. Once again out of the gun is Beecher. Takes the snap, hands it off. And it's going to be a run up the far side, breaking free. Here comes Sahagian, and he is going to be brought down after a big gain there. All the way to the Hiller's 25-yard line. So that is a pickup of 35 yards by Sahagian. Biggest run of the day for either team. So first and 10 from the 25. And Holliston is in business. Beecher going to line it up once again out of the gun. Sahagian in the backfield. Motion from right to left. Takes the snap. Sahagian up the middle. Here he goes. Breaking tackles. Cuts to the near side. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Holliston Panthers. A 25-yard touchdown run by the freshman, Kevin Sahagian. And that'll make it a 6 to nothing Holliston lead. And I'm being told it's Sahagian. So I will correct myself. Apologies. Kevin Sahagian with the touchdown. And... Mr. Sahajian having a nice day, 61 yards rushing on four attempts. And Holliston, they may go for two here. This is really just a practice-like situation, and I think you'll see a lot of these two-point conversion attempts. They are going to put Beecher out of the gun. He will take the snap, rolls to his right, looking to the end zone, throws up the middle. Was that intercepted? No, but it was batted down, so the two-point conversion is unsuccessful. And it will remain a 6 to nothing Holliston lead. And the Hillers will take over from their own 30. Pantera going to line it up out of the gun, back to his right. Two receivers spread out to either side. Takes the snap. He'll hand it off this time. Here goes John Sonda. Getting the call here, and he'll pick up a couple as he cut towards the near side. And I think he was brought down right around the 42. So Sonda getting his first call of the game. That'll bring up Third down for the Hillers. As they'll break up the huddle and let's see what they do here. Pantera going to line it up out of the gun. John Sonda the back to his right. Two receivers spread out to either side. His receiver in tight on the right slot, and it's going to be an end around here. Here goes Charlie Petruni. Along the far side he goes, and he finds some open space, and he gets a good gain there. And he is going to be pretty close to that first down. They're putting them right at the 36. That was a gain of about four on the play. Pantera going to line it up once again out of the gun. Motion from right to left. Back to his left is Sonda. Takes the snap. He'll pitch it over to Sonda. 
And here he goes up the middle, and it looks like he may have enough for the first down. And he will indeed move the chains. Ball is marked at the 37, pickup of about five. So the Hillers moving slowly but surely into Holliston territory. And they extend this drive for another series. Looks like a very even matchup between these two teams. Pantera gonna line it up out of the gun. The back to his right is Sanda. He has two receivers spread out to his right. Takes the snap, looks to his right, and he finds his man, Benjamin Joyce. And Joyce is brought down along the far sideline. A pickup of a few there. From my deceptive angle, it looked like about three or four yards on the pickup. And we're going to have a timeout called on the field. I believe Holliston wants to talk things over defensively as the Hillers have a second down in Holliston territory and about seven to go. So Holliston. Calls time real quick. And we'll step aside and let you enjoy the scenery. Just um, at the end of the quarter. And we are ready to continue on after the timeout. A second down for the Hillers. It looks like about five to go. Again, we don't have the greatest angle here, but we're doing our best. As Pantera going to line it up out of the gun with a back to his left, two receivers either side, takes the snap, hands it off, run up the middle, good gain here. Here goes Sanda, and he's brought down along the far side. And we'll see what they give him. Looks like he's going to be a little short of the first down. So they give him about three yards. And the Hiller is facing a third down and it's like a little over a yard to go. Pantera going to line it up out of the gun, back to his right. Motion along the left side as the receivers spread out further. It's two receivers to either side. Takes the snap, and he's going to take this himself up the middle, able to break one tackle, but then he is brought down by a pair of Panthers after a gain of a yard or so. And that does bring up fourth down. In on the tackle was Kevin Sahajian and Devin Harding. So let's see here. Fourth, and it looks like three to go for the Hillers. Seen a lot of uh, the run game today and just uh, some short passes, nothing big yet. But I think both teams are going to open up the field as this game goes on. 
Pantera out of the gun with the back to his left, takes the snap, rolls to his left, and he will find his target, the tight end, Benjamin Joyce. And Joyce, very close to that first down line. Let's see. He thought he had it. Let's see if he's correct. Ooh, he's going to be just short, so it's going to be a turnover on downs. So it'll be Holliston ball. He's about a yard short, it appears. So the Hillers defense is back out there as the Holliston defense gets the job done. Landon Beecher out of the gun with the back to his right, hands it off, run up the middle. And a pretty nice tackle there to stop Kevin Sahajian on the tackle for the Hillers, Carlos Linton. And a pickup of a couple there for Sahajian. Sahajian with the lone touchdown in this game so far. We're in the second quarter, I'd imagine towards the midway point of this second quarter. Six nothing Holliston lead. The clock is not on, so we're doing our best to Give you a rough estimate of where we are. Beecher out of the gun with a man in the backfield. He'll hand it off, run up the gut by Sahajian. And he is going to be brought down at around the 30. Just a couple yards shy of the first down. So about a six-yard pickup there. That brings up third and two for Holliston. Beecher out of the gun. Sahajian, the back to his left. And he'll hand it off once again, and Sahajian is going to dance through a couple tackles. First down plus some. I heard Ayler is trying to bring him down. Finally they do as he gets pretty close to the 45-yard line. So a nice pick up there for Sahajian and the Panthers. They mark them at the 43. That was a pick up about 13 yards by Sahajian. Beecher gonna line it up out of the pistol. Back to his right is Devin Harding. Two receivers spread out to the left as the Hillers weren't fooled by that one. A great stop there as Harding took the handoff and was immediately wrapped up by Jason Piccoli. So a slight loss there, it looks like. It looks like he lost a yard. So they'll bring up second and about 11 to go. Good stop there by the Hillers D. And some good size out there for both these teams on these JV2 squads. And we're gonna get a timeout called by Holliston. They wanna talk things over offensively. A six to nothing Panthers lead and we have a good back and forth JV2 matchup here. Good defensive battle so far as we are in the midst of the second quarter, second time out of the game. And we'll take a quick break right here on HCAM. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers football. Holliston leading Hopkinton six to nothing.
hand second time. It's weird that this thing gives us trouble. We'll have to bring the terror deck back. Off the timeout, we are ready to continue on. Holliston with possession, working left to right across your screen. Beecher is going to be out of the pistol, takes the snap, hands it off. And a minimal gain there, if anything. Good stop there by the Hillers on the run attempt. I believe they gave it to David Villa on that one. And that was a loss of a yard. It looks like we have another timeout here. I believe it was Hopkinton who took the timeout this time. Brings up third down for Holliston and about 11 to go. Miller's defense holding strong up front. Not letting this Holliston run game get big gains. But ultimately made the difference on the Holliston touchdown drive. It was a pair of big runs by Kevin Sahaji, and he had a 35-yarder, which led to a 25-yard touchdown. Panthers offense is ready to continue on. Landon Beecher out of the gun. Man in the backfield's Devin Harding, two receivers either side, takes the snap, looks to his right, then looks left, throws to his left, and it's incomplete. Intended target, Christopher Pacheco, good coverage upfield. On coverage for the Hillers, that was Christian Pereira. That brings up fourth down for Holliston, so more than likely, you're going to see a pass play here. Beecher lined it up once again out of the gun. Harding in the backfield. Two receivers either side. Play action. Rolls to his right under pressure. Looks upfield. And he is able to get the throw off. And it looks like he may just have enough as it was hauled in by Blake Harper. And will that be enough? It might be tad short, well the marker says first down, so it looks like they will move the chains. Just waiting for the sign from the official. That was about an 11 yard reception there. 48 seconds left to go in the half. So Holliston does not have the clock on their side. They haven't moved the chains yet, but the marker says first down. Perhaps the official's just not aware. Oh no, it's gonna be Hiller's ball. They did stop him short, so they didn't give it to him. So it is a turnover on downs. He was just short by a little less than a yard, it looks like. Pantera out of the gun, takes the snap, airs it out to his left, and it is dropped by his intended target. A pretty good pass. But unable to haul it in there was Mason Elgabra. It was great coverage downfield by the Holliston defensive backs as Aiden Ibbotson was in on coverage. I'd imagine he's uh, related to Dylan Ibbotson, who was a tremendous contributor to a couple Holliston state championship teams. So that brings up second and 10 for the Hillers. It was a good pass attempt. It was right on the money, but a couple defenders in the area, and they were ready for it. Pantera out of the gun, back to his right. Two receivers either side. Takes the snap, looks upfield, rolls to his right, finds some space. There is a flag in the backfield, airs it out, incomplete. He was looking for Charlie Petruni, but we'll have to see what this flag is about. Usually when you see one in the backfield like that, it will be a hold on the offense. Looks like the Hillers are marching back, so I believe we did get a hold. It's 
So we'll be holding against the Hillers. They get Anthony Cherubium with the hold. Cherubim. A penalty was declined. Smart move there by Holliston because that brings up third and long. Pantera breaks up the huddle and they'll need a big play here. But again, you may very well see him go for it on fourth down. Because really it's just about the experience. Obviously you want to go out there and try to win. But when you're near midfield in a JV2 matchup, it is pretty common to go for that first down as Pantera throws along the far sideline, finds Petruni. Looks maybe a little short of the first down marker. It was a good gain. We're gonna give him nine yards. So that'll make it fourth and one for the Hillers. And you better believe they're going for it here. I believe they did burn a timeout to stop the clock as we are nearing the end of this first half. Pretty quick moving first half as we've seen some quick paced offenses here and a good amount of the run game. Pantera lining it up out of the gun, back to his left, takes the snap. He'll hand it off, it's an end around. Here goes Petruni. And Petruni may just have enough. I believe he did. We do get a timeout, it is a first down, so a nice run there by Petruni. And I like that play call by Coach Collins. Nice end around. Gives you just enough to keep this drive going. And we do get a timeout. I'd imagine there is very limited time left in this half. I think the Hillers maybe have time for one or two plays at best. So I would expect uh, Couple pass attempts here to wrap up the first half. Wind's starting to pick up a little bit, but fortunately it's pretty warm air out there. Pretty comfortable conditions at the moment. So first and 10 for the Hillers. Pantera going to line it up out of the gun with a back to his right. Two receivers spread out to either side. Very limited time left here in this first half. So expect a couple pass plays as Pantera takes the snap. He's under pressure, rolls to his left, finds a little room, able to get out of bounds. So that stops the clock. Smart move there by Pantera. And it looks like he picked up. Let's say four or five there on the run. Looks like they gave him four. So second and about six to go. Pantera out of the gun once again. John Sanda the back to his right. Four receivers set, three spread out to the right. Takes the snap, looks to his left, gonna air this one out, has a target and it's intercepted. And on the interception, that is Eben Salem and a nice pick there. Intended target was Mason Ilgabrai. So it is an interception for Holliston, but I believe that is the end of the half. So that was the last play of the half. So not too much harm there on the interception. And we have a 
good JV2 battle going on between these two teams. At the end of two quarters of play, it is Holliston 6, Hopkinton nothing. We're going to take a timeout. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers JV2 football on HCAM. And welcome back in to the Hopkinson High School turf fields. We are in the third quarter. We apologize, we're having some technical difficulties we're trying to work through. Hillers have the ball working right to left across your screen. They are facing a second and 12. And they are gonna line up Pantera out of the gun with a back to his right motion from left to right. He'll take it himself. And he's trying to find a little room up the middle, but he will be stopped as Kevin Sahajian stops Pantera in his tracks. Good for about a yard. So that brings up third down and 11 to go for the Hillers. A 6 nothing Holliston lead. Hopkinton with the ball at the at their own 42. They need to get to the Holliston 47 for the first down. Pantera out of the gun, back to his right. Two receivers spread out to either side. Takes the snap, looks to his left, has a target hauled in by Gavin Andrew, and Andrew with a nice pickup, and he'll have enough for the first down. And yeah, we'll see where they put him. At the Holliston 45, so pick up a 13 yards on the reception. By Gavin Andrew. And in the first half, Hiller is with 60 rush yards, 22 passing yards. This is a rough estimate, but I think it's pretty accurate. Holliston had 
94 rushing yards, 27 pass, 121 overall. Pantera takes the snap out of the gun, rolls to his right, looking upfield, and he's going to try to take it himself as he spins out of a tackle, works his way up the far side, and he's brought down by a handful of Panthers along the sideline. Brings up second down. Killers are now marked at the Holliston 39. They need to get to the 35 for the first down. That was a six yard gain on the keeper by Pantera. Pantera out of the gun with a back to his right. Two receivers spread out to either side. Takes the snap, hands it off, and Declan DeRocher is stopped after maybe a one yard gain. That brings up third down for the Hillers. I just told Mike it's still not working. What's he going to do? All right, after this play, turn off my audio. Do it. Third and five to go. Pantera out of the gun. Back to his left. Takes a snap. He'll pitch it to his left to DeRocher. And DeRocher is brought down for a loss. Getting in the backfield, taking him down was Christopher Pacheco. Good stop there by Holliston. Apologize, folks. Still working through some technical difficulties. The Hiller is facing a fourth down after a long run was called back due to a hold. It looks like they're going to punt it away. Facing this fourth down situation. We're in the third quarter. It remains a 6 0 Holliston lead. Holliston sends Brad Andriola back to return. And Hiller's just trying to get the right personnel on the field. Oh, 
And a high snap, and it's handled, booting it away. And a pretty good punt there, all the way back to about the 20 by uh, Charlie Petruni. And the Holliston Panthers will bring their offense out to the field. So the Holliston defense continuing to get the job done. Holliston working left to right across your screen. And we're going to get a timeout called by the Hillers. We're in the third quarter. 6-0 lead for the Holliston Panthers here in this JV2 matchup on HCAM. see right now because whenever I go to it uh, yeah but wh whenever I go to it it says it's live but it keeps showing like the end of the half all right I'll check it out all right bye you think we're okay that's what he's saying. But whenever I look at it, I see the end of the house. So I don't know. A fumble by Holliston, but they're able to maintain possession. They face a second and long here. It was a loss of about two. And we're going to get a big run here by Devin Harding, and he's gonna have enough for the first down. So Devin Harding gets the chains moving. Pick up of about 12 yards there. And out of the gun is Beecher hands it off. Minimal gain here on the run attempt. Good stop by the Hillers defense. Landon Diaz on the rush attempt. Looks like they lost a couple on that rush attempt. Out of the gun, Beecher takes a snap, throws to his right, hold in by his intended target. That was Colin Kerr, I believe, or was that Pacheco? That was Pacheco with the reception. Pickup of about three. And 
and it looks like a late penalty came in, so that is going to march Holliston back to the 30-yard line. So I believe it was a hold called against the Panthers. So now they're facing a second and long. They need to get to about the 45 for the first down. And a run here. That goes nowhere. Good stop there by the Hillers defense. Jason Girard gets in there to make the stop. Nice stop there by Girard, and this has certainly been a defensive chess match between these two teams. Very good defensive football out there. Out of the gun, Beecher back to his right. Two receivers either side, takes a snap, throws to his left. And it's hauled in, taken up the far sideline. And a gain of five or six there by Pacheco, who hauls it in. Actually, they're going to say he stepped out a little sooner than I thought. So that brings up fourth and about 10. They gave him about two or three yards on the reception. And Holliston's going to punt it away here, facing a fourth and long situation. The snap and the kick. Over to Horgan, uh, Rocco Horgan, and it is fairly caught. So the Hillers offense will come back out to the field. Another good defensive stand by the Hillers. And they'll get the ball back with Holliston leading six to nothing. Mike's on his way. And that is the end of the third quarter. Fourth quarter coming up next on H Camp. And we are ready for the fourth quarter. Out of the gun is Pantera, and he is going to take it himself. Eludes a couple of tacklers along the far side he goes, and a nice gain there. It looks like he is going to be marked at around the 45-46. And Pantera essentially turning nothing into something there. What a five yard gain by Pantera. Hillers will huddle up, talk things over as we're in the final quarter of this JV2 game. And it's been a good defensive battle out there today. And Tara out of the gun, back to his left. Two receivers spread out to either side. Takes the snap, and he's going to take it himself, trying to work up the middle. Surrounded by defenders, he's brought down after a very minimal gain, if anything. Might give him a yard. It looks like he was able to lean forward and grab a positive gain. And they do indeed mark him at about the 47, so a couple of yards there by Pantera. 
They need to get to the house in 49 to extend the drive, facing a third and four here. Pantera out of the gun, back to his right. Two receivers to either side. Takes the snap, rolls to his right, throws up field, and it's bobbled and dropped by his intended target, Charlie Petruni. If he held that in, that would have been enough for the first down, but couldn't hang on, and good defensive coverage there by Miguel De Jesus. And Brady Sweeney also in on the action for Holliston. That brings up a fourth down and four to go for the Hillers. They're trailing six nothing towards midfield. They're gonna go for it, more than likely. And we're gonna get a timeout called by Hopkinton. We're in the fourth quarter. Hiller is facing a fourth and four at their own 47-yard line. We'll have more JV2 football in just a moment right here on HCAM. Continuing on in the fourth quarter, off the timeout, Hiller's facing a fourth and about four to go here. Pantera gonna line it up out of the gun, takes the snap, rolls to his right under pressure, throws, and it's incomplete. Intended for a diving Charlie Petruni. He was under pressure on that throw, a little too much in front of Petruni. And we'll have a turnover on downs as the Holliston defense once again makes another big stand and they get the ball back. Allison working right to left across your screen. And then Beecher out of the gun, the back to his right is Kevin Sahajian. Motion from left to right, and it's gonna be a direct pitch over to Andreola, who takes it up the far sideline. And he picks up a few yards. We'll see where they mark him out of bounds. I believe they're gonna give him four or five on that play. You get a timeout called. So it was about a four yard pickup on the direct pitch. That was a nice play there by Holliston, a little trickery. But both of these defenses have been tremendous today. Great at stopping the run. The, both teams have tried to pass at times in this game, but these defensive backs and secondaries have just Done a tremendous job at preventing any big plays through the air. In the first half, there was a pair of receptions by Blake Harper for Holliston, a 17-yarder and a 10-yarder, but 
that's really been about it as far as double digits. Uh, the Hillers did have one. Gavin Andrew had a 13-yard reception, but none of these offenses have been able to get too much momentum going with how good these defenses have played. Yeah, I think both of these teams, Hopkinton and Hollison, have very bright futures coming up from the JV2 level. Some good talent out there on the field today. And we'll look forward to following this Hillers JV2 team throughout the season. Beecher out of the pistol, hands it off, run up the middle, and fighting his way forward was Sahajian, and he's able to fight his way for a few more as he broke several tackles. And he got enough to move the chains. Quite a run there by Sahajian. And they marked him all the way at the Hillers. Looks like about the 30 yard line. Make that the 31. But in any case, it's a first down. That was about 17 yard pickup. By Sahajian, it's his third biggest run of the day. Beecher out of the gun, takes the snap. And he's gonna roll to his left, rose to his left, dropped by his intended target. He was looking for Christopher Pacheco. In and out of his hands it went. Good coverage by Benjamin Joyce. That brings up second and 10 for Holliston. At the Hillers 31 yard line. And they are looking to add on to their six to nothing lead. Out of the pistol is Beecher. He's gonna hand it off this time and a nice run up the far side. There goes Devin Harding for a good gain. And we'll see where they mark him. It looks like he had a gain of several. So a gain of about seven there for Harding. And that will make it third and about three to go for Holliston. Beecher out of the gun. Hands it off once again. And up the middle goes Harding on the tackle was Carlos Linton. And did he get enough? Yes, he did. He does indeed move the chains. Ball marked right around the 20. Beecher, out of the gun, hands it off. Up the middle goes Sahajian. That's good for a couple. Well, converting for that first down for Holliston, it may be Operation Burn Clock time here in this fourth quarter. So we're getting down towards the final minutes of this game. Once again, scoreboard's not on, but we're doing our Best to keep you up to date with about how much time is left. Beecher out of the gun, hands it off. And here goes Andriola on the end around. And he was pushed out of bounds. It looks like he may have gotten enough for the first down. Let's see where they mark him. Looks like they're gonna put him right around the 10, maybe a little short of the first down. Looks like about a yard short. So second and one to go here. Beecher out of the pistol, motion along the left side, takes the snap, hands it off. And uh, run up the middle here. Did he get enough? 
It's going to be close. Well, Sahajian on the run. And it looks like he did. Or actually, it's saying fourth down, so looks like they put him right around the line of scrimmage. So fourth and one to go here. And miscommunication there. Beecher was looking to hand it off to his left, but his running back went to his right. And the Hillers defense gets a big stop to keep themselves in this game. As Jason Gerard got in there, to take down Beecher. And we have a turnover on downs, a huge defensive stand for the Hillers. And they still have hope to steal this game away. But they are going to have to start pretty deep in their own territory at about the 18 yard line. So first and 10 for the Hillers, big stop there. Good pressure up front. And Hopkinton able to take advantage of a miscommunication from Holliston. Back to the line goes the Hillers. Looks like we have a new quarterback in there. Looks like Rocco Horgan's in at quarterback and he'll take the snap and he's gonna take it up the far side and a big gain here. Brings it all the way up to about the 35. And we'll see if Rocco Horgan sticks in there as the quarterback. It might've been some kind of Wildcat type of play. So they'll mark him officially at the 31. So about a 12 yard gain there for Horgan and he is indeed gonna stay in there as the quarterback. And line it up out of the gun, back to his right. Two receivers either side, takes the snap, he's gonna keep it himself, here he goes. Cutting towards the near side, eludes one tackler. And he gets a nice gain of several yards there before he's brought down by Miguel de Jesus. Ball is marked at the 41. So an eight yard gain there for Horgan. Well, Rocco Horgan showing off the wheels and he might be a player you'll see a lot down throughout the season if he keeps showing off this great burst coming from the line of scrimmage. But the Hillers knew they needed to change something up to get something going offensively, so they bring in the speedy Rocco Horgan. And here we go, second and about two to go from the 41. Hillers trailing here in this fourth quarter, six to nothing. But a chance to tie things up if they can keep this drive going. Horgan's gonna stay in there. Michael Horgan out of the gun, Sean McCann the back to his left. He has three receivers lined up to his left. Takes a high snap, pulls it down, hands it off, and a nice run here by McCann, who took a couple of big hits from defenders, but was able to stay on his feet and push his way forward and move the chains for a Hiller's first down. Ball marked at the 45 yard line. But a four yard gain there. By Sean McCann. So 
first and 10 from the 45. Morgan out of the gun, McCann in the back to his left, two receivers either side, takes the snap, and he's gonna take it up the middle, burst through the defense, and he has another good gain here as he works his way into Holliston territory. Pick up a several yards that time by Horgan, and the Hillers facing a second and three from the Holliston 48. Hillers in the hurry up offense here. As we are towards the end of the fourth quarter and it looks like we're gonna get a two minute warning here. So two minutes left to go. The Hillers still have plenty of time if they keep working this effectively. Horgan out of the gun, back to his right, someone jumped. And the Hillers, of course, all pointing at Holliston. Let's see if they're right. And the official pointing at the defense as well. And it looks like this is gonna move the Hillers up five yards. And it'll be enough to move the chains. Big time penalty called against the Holliston defensive front that time. First down for the Hillers. Ball is marked at the 43. And Horgan's gonna take the handoff as back in at quarterback was Pantera and Horgan with another nice gain here as he works his way across the 40. It looks like he got about to the 38 or 37. So a gain of six yards there for Horgan. And that makes it second and four to go for the Hillers as they continue to work their way into Holliston territory. Pantera is back in there as the quarterback. Lined up out of the gun. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff to Horgan under pressure, rolls to his left, looks upfield, and he throws incomplete to Rocco Horgan. And that'll bring up third down for the Hillers. I guess the good news is there is they stop the clock. But they'll need a big play here to keep this drive going. And Rocco Horgan going over to the coach for the play call. Looks like he's going to be lining up as the quarterback once again. He jumped over to the HPS network. So it jumped over to the HPS network. Huh. Horgan going to line it up out of the gun. Back to his right, takes the snap, rolls to his right. Looks like he's going to try to take this himself, and he's brought down for a loss. What a tackle there by Miguel de Jesus. Big time defensive play for Holliston. And Horgan brought down for a loss of about four. And that will make it fourth and nine to go for the Hillers from the 43 yard line. Is it back on? Sam Pantera, Rocco Horgan both in there. Pantera is going to do the play calling as Horgan to his right. Pantera takes the snap. And he's under pressure, rolls to his right. And he's going to try to take it up the near side. And he's brought down short of the first down. And that'll be a turnover on downs. And that should just about do it. You got to to the 36 yard line. It was a gain of several yards, but just a bit short. And the Holliston defense comes through big once again. And they'll get the ball back and they may be able to go right into the victory formation. And that 
is indeed what they're going to do. It looks like they're going to go straight into the victory formation and take the win in the first game of the season over the Hillers, six to nothing. It was a good defensive battle out there today. A very well played game by both these teams. Great effort and certainly uh, some suspense towards the end there too as the Hillers really got some momentum going. But the Holliston defense came through and were able to stop them on that final drive. And Holliston gets the win in what was a very good contact, uh, contest. Six to nothing in this JV2 matchup. Well, that is going to do it for our coverage of Hopkinton Hiller's JV2 football. We'll be back on Monday with the JV1 team taking on Holliston. The final score for the final time, Holliston 6, Hopkinton nothing. A very well played game by both these teams. For John Ritz, Steve Weatherhead, Mike Terosian, and all of our HCAM crew, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk to you again soon. Have a great afternoon, everybody.